So if you want to get a K-beauty treatment that has very minimal downtime, can be completed within I would say 30 minutes, something that you can try is jaw Botox. It will really dramatically change the contours of your face. As you can see, I have like a very strong jawline and actually if I do this, you can see that my hand moves. So all of these are actually jaw muscles which can be fixed using Botox and today I'm actually going to go for something extra as well. I'm going to do shrink which is um, a Korean haifu technology. You can think of it as Uthera but like the Korean version which is more affordable. I would say that the effects are pretty much similar. So if you're like a student or if you just want to try something that's light on the pocket and exciting as well, I would strongly recommend that you try out this jaw botox and shrink combination for a dramatically different uh, facial contour and hopefully I can achieve like a v-line today. This is not an Instagram filter. I have the numbing cream on and um, it's supposed to numb me from the discomfort that I will feel during the shrink procedure. Um, it kind of feels like it's numbing me. You feel like a slight tingling sensation but that means the cream is working and I'm just gonna wait here for a while um, until it's my turn for the procedure. So I'm gonna do shrink now. Well, I barely feel anything actually. Okay, so I'll start from this point. Mm -hmm. So everything okay? Yeah. Do a lot of tourists do this while they are here? Yes. Yes, yeah, actually a lot mm -hmm. because like it doesn't show that much mm -hmm. after the procedure. But usually there's like a pretty obvious like lifting effect, right? Yes. You could like, uh, the others would like to ask you uh, if you lost weight. Oh. Where? Does it show? Oh, yeah, you, you, yeah. you can actually see that this part, like this is the lowest point and this is the lowest point now. So actually there is a visible lifting effect. Oh my gosh, I've never seen myself like this. This is actually quite exciting. <laughs> a little bit of redness but I think it's like completely acceptable and I didn't feel any pain at all I would say that the pain level was 2 out of 10 which is basically nothing and yeah I feel good But as you can see, I think I am swelling up from this sculpting injection. I can feel it, but it's not like it's like extremely painful. So yeah, let's see how long it takes to de swell. <laughs> so right now, <laughs> I'm so swollen. I feel like I look like a chipmunk. And I mean, it doesn't hurt, but... <laughs> So, um, word of advice, if you're thinking of, you know, going out for like dinner or drinks or like, you know, if you're just gonna meet people after your procedure, maybe you should, you want to do this at the end of your trip where you can bloat and not worry about having to like show your face to people. So just factor in the downtime for this, I would say maybe a night and it should de well properly. Um, when I woke up this morning, as you can see, the swelling has considerably gone down. I do think it's still a little bit swollen, but compared to yesterday, um, it's definitely, you know, it's gone down a lot. Um, I think like when I press down on where the um, contouring injections were administered, I still feel a little bit of like, um, how should I say it? It's kind of like a little bit sore. 
and um, you can definitely feel that there was like a pressure that was applied to it which was the injection itself but other than that I would say that um, I'm pretty much back to normal um, you know I'm very puffy in the mornings anyway so mm, I'm excited to see how this would turn out and I'll keep you guys updated hey guys uh, it's day four and just wanted to show you guys how my face looks like right now um, I would say that it pretty much looks like how it was before surgery because you know like all these procedures that I've done they all take time for its effects to show but I think what was really exciting today was when I was eating I actually felt my jaw muscles kind of like ache and they felt a little bit sore and that was exciting because that actually means that the jaw Botox is working so what happens is that um, I guess over a period of maybe a week to two weeks the Botox will slowly um, I guess work with your muscles and it will start to paralyze the muscles um, in which it was injected into and I know this sounds really really scary but it actually just means that it's working because as the muscle is paralyzed it means that the brain stops sending signals to that muscle which causes it to stop working which causes it to shrink and that's pretty much what we want the Botox to do right now so um, hoping to see some visible changes in the next few weeks seriously the changes in my jawline has been pretty crazy um, I don't think the Botox has actually worked its full effect yet but what you can really really see I feel is how the fat dissolving injections have worked because like previously I used to have like pockets of fat here um, it would be like pretty obvious in, in these areas but right now I don't know if it shows on the video but when I look into the mirror I can really see that it's more flat now you can really tell like a difference like I believe the doctor injected the solution here and you can just really see that um, how do I say this in English but in Korean it's like so like ah oh, what is it in English it's like um, it's like smoother yeah like smoother like you know like how if it's fat you can like see like I don't know like a small like lump but that lump has disappeared it's a lot smoother now and I'm just like waiting for that moment where people are gonna tell me hey you look like you lost weight but that's untrue because I eat so much every day <laughs> so yeah I'm very very happy with the result